Good day, mates, and welcome to another Carl Waters video. This time we're going aboard Her Majesty's Australian Submarine Ranking, a diesel electric attack submarine. And who the devil are you, sir? What are you doing in my captain's chair? Get out of it, come on. Who do you think you are? What are you doing in my boat? Ah, not going to talk, eh? We'll see about that. Mr. Skippy? Yes, Captain. Be a good chap, Mr. Skippy, and throw this man overboard, won't you? Right you are, Captain. Overboard he goes. Yes, right, carry on. Right, oh, mate. You heard the Captain. Come along with me. You're going for a little swim. Right then, number one, I'll be in my cabin checking our orders. Right then, number one, all hands to diving stations, please. Take the boat down. Mr. Skippy, what's the status of that intruder? The intruder has drowned, Captain. Good show. Jolly good chap. Remind me when we get back to port, nominate you for a medal, sir. Yeah, so hello ladies and chaps and a jolly good welcome to you. This is indeed Her Majesty's Australian Submarine Ranking, SSG-78. And it is an Australian diesel electric attack submarine of the Collins class, the sixth of the class. And like all of the Collins class submarines, it is named after a prominent figure in Australian Navy history, namely Lieutenant Commander Robert William Ranking. He was the commanding officer of HMAS Yarra in World War II and he took his tiny little sloop up against a force of five Japanese warships and I believe that they were all cruisers not just any old warship they were actually cruisers which are designed for line battles um, he led his ship against this small flotilla of Japanese ships knowing it was probably going to cost him his life and the lives of pretty much all of his men I would imagine and he did this to allow an, an allied convoy to escape and the boat has been nicknamed the Black Knight not entirely sure why, it's just, just what it is. And like the other Collins class submarines, it is basically an enlarged version of the, now forgive me if my pronunciation is pony, um, it is basically a enlarged version of the Vester Yotland class submarine, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Vester Yotland, of Cockums. Cockums? Cockums? It's a Swedish design basically. Um, and I'm getting my information here from Wikipedia. Now, I know in the game, in the mod, um, the specs are slightly different to what I have here. Um, for example, what I'm reading says it could have up to 58 in its crew. I believe in the game it allows 32. I can't quite remember. Um, speed, 21 knots submerged, up to 24 apparently at a push. And again, I believe in the game it allows up to 20. Um, so quite accurate quite uh, accurate and like I said I'm getting my information here from Wikipedia not the most reliable source um, and weaponry it has American weapons mostly American torpedoes the Mark 48 the UGM 84 uh, harpoon as well so it can fire anti-shipping missiles all in all a very very capable submarine quite quiet as well pretty quiet and it's proven itself uh, and obviously it's proven the Australian Navy to be quite up to the task of um, waging submarine warfare. Although it's never been used in a conflict situation, it has taken part in many um, exercises, particularly in the Pacific, and I think on one occasion it did actually, um, ranking and a sister submarine, did manage to sink, that sink with quote marks because it was an exercise, a Singaporean anti-submarine warfare frigate. So a submarine destroying a ship designed to destroy submarines I think is quite a good feat. Uh, I think that deserves a combination, that does. And as I said, although it was exercise conditions, it didn't literally sink the ship. If it had been a real conflict, that Singaporean frigate would probably be at the bottom of the, the, uh, the ocean by now. So a little bit more about the ranking and the Collins class. Well, firstly, the ranking took eight years to build. It was um, suffering from a lot of delays. It's like any democratic country, um, military things often get put on the, on the, the back burner for the sake of uh, national needs. Um, so HMS ranking being the last of its class, it was being used for cannibalization while it was being built. So before it was even built, parts were already being 
filched from it and stolen from it to keep the the submarines already in service in service obviously the, the idea being instead of building a new one let's keep using the ones we've got and let that one build over time and uh it took it it, it didn't come into service until 2003 it was laid down in 1995 so a lot of delays a lot of problems getting it built uh, funding and parts and all that stuff like i said um I won't go into its propulsion and its, its engines because I haven't got a clue what any of that stuff means because <laughs> it all looks like numbers and figures and stuff and it's quite boring. Um, its range and its endurance. Now apparently it has up to 70 days of endurance which is quite a good long time for a diesel electric submarine. Um, naturally it could stay at sea longer because it can probably get replenished by submarine replenishment vessels which is lovely. At the maximum speed, it can travel up to 480 nautical miles. Now, its test depth is classified, although it's imagined at around about 180 meters, which is around about 590 feet. I believe in the game, it's down at 700 feet. I can't remember, I might be wrong there. Um, and as I said, it's complement, it's crew. It was originally 42, um, plus up to 12 trainees. But apparently in 2009, due to some kind of upgrade or whatever, um, its crew has been increased to 58. So it has more, more crew now and it can obviously have better rotation whilst out on patrol. It has six 21 inch torpedo bow tubes and it carries 22 torpedoes. A mix of Mark 48, as I said, um, obviously the, the sub harpoon anti-ship missiles or it can carry 44 Stonefish Mark III mines. I've never heard of that before. It's obviously a submarine launch mine. Yeah, there's not really much else to say about it, really. It's a fairly standard, modern diesel electric attack submarine, but it's in the Royal Australian Navy service. You don't often hear a lot about the, the um, Australian Armed Forces, and I've worked alongside them, and I think they do a splendid job. They've always punched above their weight, and um, they should be proud of their armed forces, and I'm pretty sure they are. So, good for them. Uh, and I believe HMA's ranking was actually made kind of famous in Australia due to a film crew going aboard for a couple of months and going out on patrol with the submarine and filming what life is like inside a, a submarine, basically. Um, so it's, it's a bit well, bit better known by Australians than it is by the rest of the world, which is probably to be expected. Yeah, so um, only a short video today and slightly random at that. I'm, I'm trying something new here. I'm, I'm basically picking out a submarine not very well known around the world, although obviously very well known by the Australians. And I probably do other submarines as well. Um, I'll just talk about them for a bit, nothing too extravagant. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to basically pick out submarines and talk about them with a bit of gameplay in the background if they are present in the Cold Waters game and or mods. So that's the idea. Um, I actually picked HMA's ranking because a new subscriber of mine, CapGamer10, he asked me to basically. So there you go, our chap, there's your video. Yeah, so I, I do take requests. If there is a submarine that you know to be in the game you'd like to see a video of, just throw us a just just throw us a request and I'll see about doing it. So thank you very much for watching this rather unorthodox video here. And a big thank you to Tony Badface for lending me his voice for the little bit of entertainment at the start. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. So yes, thank you again for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and like and leave comments and requests and all of that bollocks. Uh, I'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, I am Curtier. I hope you have a very nice day and hope to see you again you very, very soon. Goodbye. Not be Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Passing 100 feet. Shoot two one, I sir. Shoot two four, I sir. I'm going to surface myself. Bollocks. I might have to shot them too far ahead.